Humans are weird. They are staring at their little screens all the time. When there is so much going on outside, why on earth would you do that? Have you seen the size of your window, mother? There is so much to see. It is very exciting, but can be frustrating sometimes too, especially when you see something moving but that you cannot chase it. Oh, like this one little fellow. It's Sebastian the magpie. He's the one to watch, little troublemaker. You see that's the thing about magpies. They look like distinguished birdies dressing in a black tie. But in fact, they are little stinkers. Sometimes when I need to go to the toilet, in the middle of the night mum will let me do it in the garden. I know. It's not a reason to be proud of, but when you need to go you need to go. Anyway, the moment I'm done with my business, this little stinker, Sebastian, shows up immediately and he's not popping in for a nice chat. He's on a mission of stealing my poop. Can you imagine that? This little tuxedo guy is after my waist. Unbelievable. According to some cultures magpies bring good luck. I'm not sure what luck you have in mind you weird people. But Sebastian brings other type of gold. If you know what I mean. He's full of shit. Literally. But then again he helps cleaning the garden. So I let him be. At least until mum opens the garden door. Oh. Here comes Karen. Karen the squirrel. Oh I'm telling you. She loves pushing my buttons. I'm not quite sure what is it about Karen that gets on my nerves. Is it the way she moves or stare at me? With her judgmental big eyes. I don't know. All I know that she is after almost everything. That grows in the garden. Since I'm here to protect the household. Karen is my number one enemy. I know what you're thinking. She's tiny. I'm big so it is not a fair fight. Oh, you are wrong. The speed those little legs can achieve is incredible. Plus, I can't climb the trees. So in some ways, this little creature has an advantage over me. Also, even if I catch Kara, I wouldn't hurt this little fluff. Do you know why? I just feel sorry for her. As I recently discovered how silly squirrels are, I'm sure you are aware that Karens collect nuts and bury them before winter. But did you know that often they forget where they hidden the nuts? Imagine that. How silly you have to be to do that. It's nice of them that they are planting trees for me. So I can play with sticks. But seriously, Karen. Next time just pee on your hideout and then sniff it out when needed. Who else we have here? Oh, hello, Edgar. Edgar is our neighbor's cat. I really wanted to get him at some point. But then I came to realization that Edgar suffers from depression and clearly has some suicidal thoughts. Otherwise he would never put his paw in my garden. That's why I think he's going through something. So I let him recover. And then I will get him.